So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what is up for the week. Unfortunately, I was supposed to have this uh, yesterday, but I was kind of busy because it's my girlfriend's birthday. Today, I'm actually supposed to go to Korean barbecue with our friends to celebrate. So I have to make this video really, really quick. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, 801, let's actually look at what she's selling. Valkyrie Zero, this is a dope shader. You just have to find armor pieces that make it look good. So for example, like the arms, are close it's just that you can see the orange here there's some pieces of armor that actually don't show the orange at all so that's why i say you need to find the, the armor that makes it look good because i promise you it's gonna look dope uh Cairo's black i am just not the biggest fan of the kaka green that's really it um this color right here everything else looks super dope i like the blue but it's just that color for me and then war cold scheme i love this shader it's from warmind quite a while ago so i do recommend it and yeah it's super dope super cool like saturated gold almost and then this purple is super dope like a, a blue purple yeah i think this shader is like one of the best shaders in the game and then for the armor it's gonna be the dead end stuff i'm gonna actually i don't have to i, I remember this one for the, all the classes so for the hunters i think the helmet's pretty cool i think the boots unfortunately are cool it's just the the legs have this like bandage that don't change color the cloak is okay the chest piece is probably the coolest one for a tactical look and the arms are decent for the titans i think everything but the mark is super dope because the helmet you can change the color of and i say i specifically say that because the other armor pieces that have that same look don't have don't have the ability to change the color uh the chest piece is okay the boots and the arms i think are the coolest parts Warlocks, I think the chest piece is super dope. I think the boot, the helmet is really cool. And the arms and the boots are kind of boring. But at the same time, like if you want to go for like a tactical or just like a regular human look, like regular boots and arms, those are going to be really cool. And then I think uh, the bond is pretty boring. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely think you, you guys should pick up some, some of the Titan stuff. Uh, pretty much everything that I said is pretty cool. As for Banshee, uh, like, unfortunately, but also fortunately, uh, he has focus decoding now, which took a slot of the weapons that he used, he used to sell. So I, I, this is what, what is up for today. I don't know if this changes weekly or daily, but Cyril's weapons and hockey weapons for these, I don't know. Like there's some, there's some weapons that you can get that are like red borders. Like, uh, syncopation is one of them. I don't think any other ones are here, but for the Hawkeye weapon, it's going to be Ragnahild and this one, Polymera. So if you want to get some red borders, this one, this one, and this one are red borders. But if you want to know like my opinion of like what guns to get, honestly, a lot of the Hawkeye weapons are super dope. Um, a lot of the Suro weapons I don't really care about, to be quite honest, except for like Staccato. Um, it has a really cool roll let me see if i can find it on my on my dim real quick what was it called again staccato it's a stupid name uh staccato yeah it's right here staccato i have one that has triple tap and focus fury so that's really really fun but it's on a primary and most of the time it's just like whatever's i haven't used pizza peak peak Cesado, peaks whatever that says i haven't used this one uh Floratura, I've used this one's fun, but I also really like rapid frame sidearms. Uh, Fugo, sniper rifle, it's an adaptive, eh, whatever. So, yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for that. But for the other weapons, we're going to have Whispering Slab with hip fire grip and Vorpal. Mm. If it wasn't hip fire, I'd tell you to pick it up. We have Cartesian Coordinate with Feeding Friends and Thresh. I would say ignore this. Uh, Annual Skate with Tunnel Vision and Wellspring. Syncopation with Steady Hands and Headstone, and then Palmyra with Ambition Assassin and Explosive Payload. So that is it for the weapons for Banshee. As for Zuri, he's on the EDZ on the Winding Cove. He's currently selling who the, what are they called? Uh, New Monarchy? There we go. New Monarchy Armor Set. So this is pretty interesting considering it's, this is a re, like a reskin of an, another armor set aside from the class items, if I remember correctly. So let me see real quick. I'm going to go to my to check this out because I don't remember off the top of my head. It should be, no, it should be factions. Yeah, so 
Let's go for the hunter first. Hunter, I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think the arms are super dope. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the boots are really cool. And the, like, this is a problem. The cloak is so dope. But, at least for me, uh, the hunter has this problem that the cloak doesn't look like it's fitted to the actual chest piece. So, it looks like it's just hanging. Which is really, really unfortunate. But, I really like that cloak a lot. It's just the fact that it does that dumb thing. For the titans... I think the helmet is super dope. If I remember correctly, this is the one that has the uh, the feather. Not the feather, but like fur up top. Yeah. I, I think this is such a... Like, you need to pick this one one up just because the fur up there just makes it look so much more unique uh, than the actual other armor set that it's based off of. The arms are pretty cool. The chest pieces are really cool. The boots are pretty cool. And then I think the mark is super cool. Like, definitely worth picking up. As for Warlocks... I also think it's super dope. I think the helmet's okay. It's way too close to the other helmet. Um, and I'll show you which armor I'm talking about. The arms, again, way too similar. The chest piece is super dope. The boots are very boring. And then the the mark, no, the bond, I think is super dope, worth picking up. At least, if you're not, if you're like not a fan of this armor, at least pick up the, the class items because the class items are not a one-to-one -one of the armor set that it's based off of and this is the armor set that it's based off of it is go to world shouldn't be all yeah so it's going to be the philomath stuff for the warlocks for the titans it's going to be probably the no errant 9 1.0 for the hunters it's very similar to like the class items are not a one-to-one -one, but for the hunters it's almost close because it's the same thing this is a problem right here but it's the same thing with just the fact that like there's like chainmail on the side here and then some on the side in the head and i think the titans uh also no i don't think they have the same not the same cloak yeah this is the the mark for them yeah not a one-to-one -one because there theirs goes in the back so i definitely think it's worth picking up because at, for the titans as well the like fur at the top is not a one-to-one -one. see it's not the same so I definitely think you should pick this armor up just because a lot of it is really cool. But I would pick up only like the unique things about it because like the helmet's like a one to one for the hunter and warlock. So I would, I'd be like, if you want, like, again, this is one of those things. Like if you have the legendary shards, remember, legendary shards are going away. So you might as well just pick all this up for weapons. We have false promises with underdog and rampage cold denial with threat detector and swash. I actually think this is pretty decent considering you're going to have swash, which means you're going to be close to enemies, which means you're going to be proccing threat detector. Not only that, you can use threat detector to like find out if there's enemies nearby. Also has range for a masterwork, which is pretty decent. Also has high caliber. So ooh, you go up to maybe a 70, bro. No, nah, it definitely would go up to a 70. So I would probably pick this up. Maybe. <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Because it's. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I picked it up, but I, I'll see if I use it or not. Legal action with <laughs> legal action two with underdog and rampage. This is literally the same rule. Uh, Cartesian coordinate with under pressure and backup plan. We have Iclos shotgun with off offhand strike and incandescent. This is a red border weapon, so if you want to get this, you can definitely pick it up. Interference VI, which is VI six. No, interference six. Uh, clown cartridge threat detector. Hmm. And then memory interdict, interdict, um, auto loading holster and disruption break. For Hawk Moon, we have Quick Draw. Hmm. Kind of tempted to pick that up, but this weapon is going to be craftable soon, so probably not. Jade Rabbit because I hate this gun. Uh, Ophidius Spathe with not that bad of rolls. Like I'm gonna be honest, like you you're gonna be getting a one in everything. And you'll be getting a two on one because you still have to put your uh, your mod in there. So I don't know. This is pretty decent. Um, I don't know if I would want a, like a one on everything, but that's it's there. And it got a rework, so it's even better now. An insurmountable skull fort. So arc melee grants. Yeah, I like this this exotic a lot. Uh, fashion wise as well I think it's super dope but it's really low strength is 16 so that's nice you definitely want to see that on insurmountable skull for it 
And then I would probably bump up the recovery to a plus 10 so I can have an 18 once I master work this 23, 18, no 23, 20, and then 18. It's interesting. And Skull of Diaham Kara. I wish this exotic got the rework or a rework just because uh, this is trash. Absolutely trash. Um, because it has like some, well, that has one cool ornament. I think this one's pretty trash. That being said, I'm probably going to combine this with the uh, the Ahankara armor we got this season. Um, that's pretty much it for fucking, I was about to say Eververse. Uh, for Zero, let me see what I'm going to get. Orpheus rig. Um, I'm not gonna look at. Let's see what. Let's see what I got. I'm gonna reload dim real quick. Uh, let's go to Eververse real quick while I'm waiting for dim to load up. Um, what did I get? Damn. Oh wow. Um, 16 on resilience, recovery 14, intellect at 15. Okay, I definitely will use this one because uh, I have a build. Where it's just like trying to get my super as fast as possible, and this is gonna be super dope. All right, Eververse, let me see. I, dude, I'm really tempted to buy this ornament, like really, really tempted, just to have another like knight-looking armor for my hunter because I use a lot of that shit. Because this is gonna go on Eververse event or the uh, the Bright Dust store eventually. All right, let's see armor, welded brass. It looks so cool with this armor set, dude. Like legitimate, like legitimately looks super cool. Uh, Spark of Joy. This isn't terrible. We have Cannon Fodder. We have the Logic for the Lament. Sword Logic. I'm guessing that's slipping. Um, I really want to pick this up just because I don't have a Lament ornament. And I did use Lament for my solo flawless, or at least part of it for the new dungeon. So I kind of feel like I should get it. Bug, bug catching. <clears throat> and then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Dancing Harlequin for Huckleberry. I don't want to pick this up. Um. And it's not because it's pink or anything. Like I love pink. Pink's like one of my favorite colors. It's just more of a like, it doesn't change the weapon like the weapon that much, or it doesn't change it that much. Kind of still looks the same. And I also just really like the the ornament I have on it already. Uh, Sekhmet rig. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this ship. I'm not gonna even try to say that name. Kit shell. Uh, magic wand. Boosted backflip. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have vitreous entrance. Reef shimmer. I like this one. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, Vex Invasion. And then for the shaders, Growing Guilt. Uh, this is okay. I don't really care for it too much. Heat Shielded. And this one's actually pretty cool. Oof. Actually, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would actually make the cloak black. Um, the only thing that's... No, actually, I probably would try to find a cloak... That has this black right here. Because I was going to say uh, the black would be cool. But it would be off with the paint. Like because this has a texture to it. So I'd probably yeah. This is pretty cool though. Um, time honored. This one looks okay. Um, I would definitely would change this to black. If I change this to black. I think it would look way cooler. And then iridescent coil. Or coral. Yeah, I I like that the, the chess piece is the same color as the arms because the chess piece usually takes off colors. So the only thing I don't like is the white on the, the pants, but that's that's the pants problem, not the shader problem. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. There's a lot of things I'm working on right now. I know I keep saying that, but like for realsies, it's 
<laughs> it's crazy how much stuff I'm working on. Let me let me go to my thumbnail to show you guys because it's, it's cra kind of cracked. So like I'm working on the Dark Age stuff for all the classes. I got all of it already, but I already did the video for those already like a while ago. So this is just me just making the thumbnails because I didn't have the thumbnails to make the or didn't have the armor to make the thumbnails. Still working on the exotic videos. This one already came out. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll hopefully have it right now. Uh, and then we're doing these as well. The year two and three armor sets. I'll do the other Iron Banner armors soon. But currently I'm working on the ones that I didn't have just because that's the armor set that I got really excited for. Um, I still don't have all of this armor, but I did get the arms. And dude, let me tell you, the Hunters, Titans, and Warlocks all got some dope sets with those arms. Working on the Witcher armor, which I already I already made the videos. They're already in the channel. I just need to find a date for them. And then I obviously am working on the Witcher stuff as well. And then for the Worm, Go or Worm Guard things, I'm also working on that as well. So I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on. Not only that, but like fucking the Dawning is like literally tomorrow. Which means I have to work on another armor set. And God forbid I get two armor sets this, this uh, Dawning because... I'm trying to like get all of the donning stuff that I didn't get from previous years. So we'll, we'll, I'll probably get two armor sets, maybe. And yeah, let me actually sh show you a sneak. I'll not sneak peek considering like I'm going to show you the armor set, but let me back out real quick. So I will show you guys in the character customization screen because I have them all for my classes. So this is the hunters. I think this one came out amazingly. Um, I wish I could turn my character, but you'll see that when uh, we do the armor review, but this is super dope I love what I did with this Titans. I love this as well. It looks super super cool I was going back and forth on the helmet But I think the helmet is really cool because or the combo is really cool because you have the glow up here And then you have the glow down here and then warlocks this one went back and forth a little bit You can't see the arm actually. Let's just go to the warlock so I can show you a little bit more I'm not gonna turn her it doesn't matter, but look this one's super cool as well um, just to go over here. Yeah, those arms are super dope. I had another one in mind and I'll probably show it in the video, but this video is going to be probably in a week. I'll probably get all of the armor set. We'll see. But yeah, this one is super dope. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. I really do. Remember to like, comment, sub, all that. Hit the bell notification because it really, really does help. And let me know what you guys want to see as well. Like this is not just me doing videos. I've done videos for people who have asked for like certain exotics and whatnot so i will be seeing you guys later <laughs>